do you know we are approved a clear to close home loans for a grant if you're a first responder yes if you're a first responder firefighters rn rt eh, paramedics first responder you can get 1.5 percent for free of the purchase price you're buying a a five hundred thousand dollar house that is seven thousand five hundred that can go towards your closing costs for free and you can buy 100 percent financing yes we got that we have the gsfa program available at clear to close home loans let me know if you or anybody that you know might need help with some money for closing costs or need money for down payment and they work on the health industry the hospital the M M I T M E T. How do you call the paramedics and the ambulance? Anyway, any of those first responder, police, cops, we can help them out with a grant, one point five percent for free. Just let me know. Give me a call. Clear to close home loans. Um, another thing I'm talking about today is, can you buy multi units, two units, three units, four units, multi units? Get rental income, hundred percent financing, zero down. With the conventional loans, yes, we can do that. That is something new that we have too, and might be helpful. If you wanna buy multi-units and the FHA loan doesn't help you because FHA guidelines require that the property pays by itself the mortgage, with conventional, you don't need to do that. So conventional, you can buy 100% financing, multi-units, four units, owner-occupy, 660 million FICO. Uh, let me know if you need more help. And last but not least, do you know what CPI is? How you hear today the news? CPI, the index, inflation, 0.4%. It's like 0.4% doesn't sound that bad, right? It's like very low, right? Wrong, no. The expectation for the inflation on the CPI was 0.3%. So if it's coming at 04 it's higher than the expectation. And remember, the Fed, the government, quotation mark the government, the economy is expecting to have inflation lower than the expectation because that way the interest rate are gonna go lower than we have right now. The interest rate right now are higher because the inflation is high. The Fed is trying to fight the inflation and they are thinking or they were expecting to have inflation coming down, but it's not happening. The inflation is staying. 0.4% in a month means in a year, if continue the same trend, it's gonna be 4.8% inflation, which is not that bad. We are coming from 9% inflation, right? Nine to 4.8% is not that bad. However, the Fed, they think we should have an inflation at 2%. So if we are 4.8, we are not even halfway down yet. And that is the only reason or that is when the Fed will start to cut rates whenever they see they have the inflation under control. And for them, under control means the inflation should be more than 0.2% every month. I don't know if I was very good on the explanation, but I hope you got it. The thing is, we are still a long way to see cut rates they were we expecting. Get used to having a rate for mortgage around 6 to 8% to buy a house. And that's just the reality. Spring break is here, market is busy, inventory is low, property is still selling multiple offer situations. What can you do, right? All right, that's it for now. The kids, my Sebastian is going to be seven years old on Monday, the 15th. Tax season is over, by the way. And Barbara is doing amazing with her battle of the books. She finishing two, three books a day. Is that normal? I don't think so. All right, bye-bye. I'm leaving. Peace out. Take care. Love you. Bye-bye.